the Shinalani Retreat. This video is about one of the most relaxing weeks of my life. It consisted of a seven day meditation and yoga retreat that was created by Christy Stanglin of My Paravita and was built around really understanding the chakras. These are the energy centers of the body that are part of Indian traditional medicine. It was held at the beautiful Shinalani Retreat Center in the Puerto Vallarta Bay. This somewhat remote center was perfect for connecting with nature and the self. Getting there by boat enhanced the feeling of remoteness and connection with nature. Shinalani is snuggled in a series of buildings in the jungle up the sides of the hillside uh, slopes. And as you can see, it has a beautiful sand beach. The rooms are beautifully set up and open to the sea with sounds of ocean waves, of birds that you hear all of the time. The fabric above the bed opens down to form mosquito nets at night, although we all commented on the fact that there are more mosquitoes, I think, in Toronto than there were here. The yoga and meditation studios are at the top of the hillside. So you go up these stairs and as you can see, they are totally open platforms. This studio is for aerial yoga, which is the reason for the hanging fabrics. And as you practice yoga in these studios or meditation, you can hear the waves and really appreciate nature all around you. It's so relaxing. This is the only enclosed studio and has been called the greenhouse and is sometimes used for hot yoga for anybody who is interested in doing it. Regardless, when you practice here, you really do get a little more sweaty than you do in the other places. Each day I spent an hour in the morning with this wonderful group of women learning about and participating in meditation. And each late afternoon, Laurel Carr took us through a flow yoga exercise that focused on the chakra of the day. This gentle yoga practice uses breathing techniques and movement to help you sense each area of the body. The local practice of the sweat lodge is um, indigenous and was conducted by a local shaman. And very much like uh, North American uh, tradition of sweat lodge, it included purification, both outside the circular lodge before you enter, and then inside with heating and chanting. I mentioned the stairs. But this stop action video clip shows just how many stairs it takes to get to the yoga studio. We all definitely got our exercise up and down uh, from all parts of Shinalani. It really did help to be good at planning what you're taking with you. The dolphin experience. The other very special experience was one where we went swimming with dolphins. We took off from the pier um, and into 
the boat which took us to a pod of wild dolphins that were delightful and so full of joy. Um, the young woman who conducted the trip was studying the pod and provided education on, their, on their, this marine mammal. She was very clear that they were wild, so no feeding, no touching, but pure joy for us, as you can see. Just being in the water with them as they glided and cavorted through the sea with such ease was pure joy. They seemed to really have fun themselves and kept popping up where we didn't expect them. It was like they were playing with us. And we certainly just wanted to continue to play with them. It was such a great experience. And, and really, while it was invigorating, it was also so calming as well, being out there in the sun and the sea with these beautiful animals that are so natural in the water. Then all of a sudden, it was time to say goodbye. It was our last dinner at Shinalani. So to celebrate, we ate a wonderful meal on the beach with all our new friends for the last time. As the sun rose, on my final day, I took the opportunity to meditate in the open studio, feeling the coolness of the night, hearing the ocean, and watching the sun rise in the east. Saying a final goodbye for now to Shinalani, the same way I greeted it when I arrived from the water. This beautiful experience brought light peace and joy to my life after the cold and snow of a very long Canadian winter. Would I do it again? Absolutely. Would I recommend it? For sure, with the caveat that you have to be fit enough to do those stairs. But whatever you do, enjoy it, embrace it, embrace the joy. If you would like to see more LifeShift videos, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel using the subscribe button below. Don't forget to sign up for regular emails on our website at www.lifeshift2eyesinshift.com.